Morning everybody. So I'm just starting off my morning by marinating some chicken drumsticks. And Al and I usually like to do this during the week when we have like a busy week. And um, lately I've just been really tired in my pregnancy that I just don't have any energy to cook dinner at nighttime. So what I like to do is just marinate some chicken that I can just throw in the um, oven and then we just have dinner. So. Here are a few of the things that I'm marinating today. Um, I usually like to, well, Al and I like to buy the chicken drumsticks from Costco, for, but for, for some reason, the chicken drumsticks at Costco, I don't know, they just keep fresh even longer. So that's what we like to do and we love eating chicken. So yeah, I'm marinating three different kinds of marinades today. Uh, the first one is a little bit of olive oil and then I'm gonna pour this chicken grilling spice that I got from Target. Haven't tried this yet, but maybe it'll be good, like with a side of potatoes and veggies. So I'm gonna try that, sprinkle all that over the chicken. And then for the second marinade, I have our lemongrass chicken. This is like, you know, the Vietnamese version. Very easy to do at home. All you need is a little bit of honey, lemongrass, and garlic as well and then i like to put in some fish sauce in this marinade and then for the last one i actually got this recipe offline and i tried it a few times and alan loved it when i uh, made it from the first time but um basically you're gonna need a little bit of fish sauce some oyster sauce hoisin sauce onion powder garlic powder and also some pepper for this one and it tastes like it kind of tastes like you know if you go to like Vietnamese restaurants and you have their um, what's it called um, sweet and sour is it sweet and sour or sour um, soup with a side of that caramelized um, pork meat or also the caramelized fish it kind of tastes like that sauce but i got it off this website here this is my or our um what's it called recipe book it's called asian baked chicken and the recipe is from eatnowcrylater.com and i've tried it this is all the measurements there and it's just a really good chicken dish so definitely try that out but i'm gonna start my marination all done my Sunday routine is always editing the vlog and it just makes me feel so like relaxed and calm. There's nobody at home and it's just pure like silence. Sometimes you just need those days just to like relax and everything and just be calm and just like recollect all of your thoughts and everything. So I really enjoy editing the vlogs every single Sunday, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but I still haven't yet to figure out how to edit on the iMovie yet because Ellen got um, a, you know the new computer and everything and we also have the what is that called again is it called the iMac correct me if I'm wrong but I still have yet to figure that out of how to like edit on the iMovie and everything I need somebody to teach me because I'm still editing on the Windows Live Movie Maker and it's just so much easier for me so yeah i still gotta figure that out but yeah i just like to edit the vlog and just relax right now i'm just waiting for the footage to import into the editing software so that's what i like to do on sunday i just say hi viewers hi hi viewers hi viewers <laughs> hi for, for linda <laughs> Good English, mom. Sometimes when I walk by Karis's room, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe there is going to be a little baby in the house soon. But it's just sometimes I just walk in here and I just like to admire her nursery because everything is just so cute and adorable. And um, if you guys haven't watched my nursery tour video or even blog post, it's up. The video is up on this channel, so definitely check that out if you guys want to see everything in Karis' nursery or if you guys want to see detailed pictures on my blog, definemebella.com, D-A-F-Y-N-E-M-E-B-E-L-L-A.com. <laughs> but it's just like, oh, it's just so crazy. Like, life is just so crazy, but I still, well, Alan actually put her little dress on the door because we just think it's 
just the most cutest thing ever, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe there's gonna be a little baby at this crib. Alan just showed me how to make puttanesca. And usually, he made it once before and it was really good, but we didn't have anchovies. Yeah. And the substitute the anchovies, we put in a pancetta. I know, and it still turned out really good because the authentic puttanesca or puttanesca, you need anchovies. And this time, we have anchovies. And last time, we made the tuna puttanesca. So this time, we have anchovies and we don't have tuna. <laughs> but instead we're using crab meat instead. So hopefully it'll just be as good, but in this sauce, Ellen put in, what did you put in? Anchovies, garlic, tomatoes, all of the capers. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. I remember, I have to learn this because he just taught me. <laughs> yeah, olive oil, anchovies, garlic, and then olives, capers, and then a can of tomato sauce, mm -hmm. right? And then we just have some spaghetti boiling and we're gonna plate it all up and I'm so craving this right now because the first time we made it, it was really, really good. My bad guys, it, it was a t can of tomatoes, not tomato sauce, but you let it reduce down to this thickness and it's pretty much good to go. And Al and I like to top it off with this arugula kale that we get from Costco and just has like a nice bite to it and it adds more flavor and the reason why we decided to make puttanesca is because of our honeymoon if you guys watched it when we were in Italy right after the Colosseum Al and I went to this really really dark restaurant and we had the best tuna puttanesca um, meal and it was just so good that Alan wanted to recreate it so this is our din din Ooh, good morning everybody so Last night I didn't sleep until like 11, which is pretty late for me because Karis just kept me up. She kept kicking me and it was just like, oh, I just, when she starts kicking me, I just feel very like, just like startled. And then I just lay there in bed awake until she stops kicking me. But she was a very active baby last night. Oh yeah, and lately Karis has been hiccuping as well in my tummy. I can feel it and Alan feels it as well when he puts his hand on my tummy. It's the cutest thing ever. It's different from a kick. It's almost, it's pretty much like a real adult hiccup. It's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. And I feel it like, you know, where her head is. So it's just so adorable and I felt that last night too. So she started hiccuping first and then she started kicking, which is... So cute, it kept me up, but it's all worth it. <laughs> We're just grabbing a quick dinner before our baby CPR class. Al and I both got laksa noodle soup. Mm -hmm. And it's yummy to our tummy. Mm -hmm. So we came a little bit early to the CPR class. There's nobody here yet. It doesn't even look like the place is open, but it's in this building right here. It's pretty like old school it's called Link to Life. And there's a little mannequin doll right there but um we have to wait what time is it 6 15 the class doesn't start till 6 30 which i'm pretty excited about because you know it's kind of cool having a little bit of training mm -hmm. <laughs> so you don't be like <gasps> i know just in case anything happens but hopefully we don't have to use it because mm -hmm. if we do it'll be very very scary mm -hmm. but i'm so full from dinner right now me and too and i'm so tired I know, Alan just got off work. This is his work day right now. So after we finish this class, we're just gonna head on home and then he's gonna go straight to bed. Mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna shower first. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, can you imagine if you don't shower? So stinky. Yuck. I think I'm so, ew. Like fumes coming out of your <laughs> armpit. Like green little squeak, squiggly lines. Mm -hmm. I feel Karis hiccuping right now. Is that? Yeah. It's so cute because you can never feel a baby hiccuping. It's just like, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Inside her belly. Alan felt it a few times. It's so much different than a kick. It actually feels more comfortable when she hiccups. Like down here. He's like... Hoop. Did she stop? I think she stopped. Oh, no, there. You feel it? I didn't feel it. Oh yeah, I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. It's just like a little tight. She probably <laughs> ate all that noodles. Yeah, <laughs> she like, ate too fast because it's too yummy. Like... <laughs> She's been doing it so much. And lately she's been doing it every time after we eat dinner. Mm -hmm. 
so cute. And we dinner was just too yummy and she just ate too fast. Mm -hmm. She's like devouring it all. So funny. I wonder if I drink water if it will stop or not. Let's try. <laughs> But we'll see if I can actually vlog inside the class for you guys. If not, then we'll update you guys after the class. I like your name tag there, Ellen. <laughs> I feel like we're in school again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at all the dolls behind us. So freaky. So we just finished our infant and child CPR class. And do you feel trained, babe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Baby's going to be safe in my head. Uh-huh. <laughs> I actually feel a lot better after taking this class because some things I did not know at all. So now I'm pretty confident if anything happens to Karis that I can do it. Alan has no confidence in me. <laughs> no. He keeps asking, are you sure you remember? Are you sure? I'm she like, kept doing everything wrong when she was practicing. It's called practicing. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Yeah, but if you're doing it wrong when you're practicing, you're not practicing right. But now I, mean, I get it. Everything yeah. seems really straightforward now. I didn't vlog because I was busy like learning and everything. I wanted to soak everything up. But pretty much everything's in like like counts of five except for like the first part when you're rubbing their back it's only 10 seconds i think i was a better teacher than our instructor was because she wasn't very clear and then did i understand yeah and then explain re-explain everything to her now she understands yeah our instructor was all right it could have been a better teacher but pretty much i got the gist of it so mm -hmm. as long as you know how to save your baby mm -hmm. we practice on ba these babies I, I couldn't show you guys but they're really dirty <laughs> they're, yeah they're, they're all black I know, and they were like dusty and stuff, so I was like, ew. <laughs> but there was actually this one naked baby that was very like big, big. and chunky and chubby. It's like, holy man, if my if our baby comes out like that, I don't know if I can actually hold him or her. <laughs> it was heavy. Yeah, it was it really was heavy. heavy. Yeah, but it's really fun though, and I learned a lot, so I feel a lot better and like a lot more confident. Yes, so, because now that they're safety trained, you are too. Good job, baby. Yeah, <laughs> safety first as safety new parents. Morning, guys. We're just waiting for our ultrasound appointment. We get to see Karis again. Hopefully, she's doing good. My bladder is super full right now. I only drank a little bit of water, too. But luckily, in this waiting room, there's a TV, which is pretty That's awesome, awesome. <laughs> right? Yeah. Usually, you know, there's silence, just magazine and nothing. We're just waiting. I think we're the only ones. So hopefully, they come up soon because my bladder is full and I feel like I need to pee. So that ultrasound appointment took a little bit longer than expected because um, there was a girl there doing her practicum along with the ultrasound lady. Is that called sonographer? I think her name tag said sonographer, if that's what it's called. <laughs> but it's funny because the ultrasound um, girl was actually Ellen's friend from elementary school. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty cool. It's such a small world. But um, yeah, we went in at nine something. It probably took like an hour or so. Mm -hmm. So that was really long. I was like, ah, oh. I was just laying there. I'm like, I could totally take a nap right now. <laughs> because the girl was doing her like practicum so she's taking pictures and everything herself and then afterwards the actual sonographer came in and did the same so I was like laying there for a little bit <laughs> but Alan came in afterwards and we saw Karis again she is so cute she like when when the lady like took the ultrasound thing and like put, pointed it to her face it you was, can see her face. Yeah, I saw it for the first time. I'm like, oh my gosh. The first thing I noticed, she has Alan's nose. Like, for real. Like, I'm just like, oh no, she does have my nose. <laughs> the one thing I didn't want her to have. I know. She's like the cutest ever. And I actually have pictures here to show you guys. So this is what she looks like here. Look at that. So cute. She's a chubby little baby. The car is kind of moving, so it's kind of like shaky. But this is what she looks like. Hold on, I mean, I'll, I'll show you guys thing. when she stops. Is this good? Okay, we're at a red light right now. So this is what her face looks like. She's just a very chubby little girl. You can definitely see that she has her nose, Alan's nose, and then her eyes are closed and her little mouth looks like that. She got these little saggy cheeks. I know. <laughs> 
so chubby. And this is another one, which I think is very scary because her eyes look like... The black. Yeah, a <laughs> black hole. And this is her profile again. So this is her head, her nose, and her mouth. So cute. I'll cherish these pictures forever. Do you guys see the resemblance here? She hers looks like Alan. <laughs> So cute. She's so chubby. I can't believe how chubby she is. <laughs> like she she looks so squished and she has like no room. Uh-huh. Ah. Like, like Linda's barely squishing her face right now. Uh-huh. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. I I just like I will never forget seeing her like that. Like on the screen. And poor Alan, he had to wait outside for so I was long. Up there for like 45 minutes. And I hear them laughing and talking. I'm just like, I don't want to be in there. I know. It's it's weird that they don't let um, the partner in when they're doing all the measurements. They only let um, the husband in when they're doing like the show and tell the fun parts. Yeah. I guess they have to really concentrate. I guess because when like your partner's in there, they ask too many questions and oh, yeah, they probably sure. get annoyed. It's like, let <laughs> me do my job. Yeah, I'm like, what's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> that looks funny. What's that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's probably yeah. why. Oh my gosh. She looks so cute. But guess what, guys? Her head is down. Yay. Yay. I'm so happy. I'm just like, when she told me, I'm like, I kind of knew it, but I'm like, oh, relieved, relieved. So hopefully, natural birth it is. This is how you guys eat a Swiss roll on the road. <laughs> GTOTD. Mm. Is that actually good? Mm, okay. It felt very moist when I was holding it. It is very important. Mm. Maybe I have a bite later. So Alan and I have literally been out all day long I since know. the morning. We're so tired. Yeah, we had our ultrasound appointment, our 35 week uh, doctor's appointment. Now we are heading to our breastfeeding class. Or Alan's my support person because he don't have no milk in there. <laughs> you, know, but, you know, I can just sit there and learn. Uh -huh. and if, if she forgets, I'm like, remember? Remember? <laughs> you have to and squeeze. <laughs> sick, I mean sick. So we'll see how that goes. It's gonna be quite exciting because I have no idea of anything of breastfeeding. So me neither. We'll see how it goes. Mm. It's so funny that our breastfeeding class is in a mall. Yeah. <laughs> it's in this like auditorium place. And Al and I are early birds. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting right now, but it's in this little big room right here. Can you guys guess what this is? Look at all the babies too. 